everyone. So in this video, we will have a few examples for accounts payable, especially about correcting previous balances. And if we are, if there's a need to update the following balances. For example, here, we have an unadjusted balance of accounts payable. No? So for this kind of problems, it is important for us to identify ano yung ginawa ng company, ano yung dapat natin gawin, at kung ano yung dapat natin na correction. No? So in letter A, goods in transit from a vendor to Brian on December 31, 2021 with an invoice cost of 200,000 purchase FOB shipping point was not yet recorded. So, ang ating libro, naka-record, zero. But, what's the correct treatment? Since this is FOB shipping point, while it is in transit, it is already owned by Brian. So, therefore, dapat may naka-record tayong 200,000. Kung walang naka-record, pero dapat meron, then there is an addition in our accounts payable for 200,000. For letter B, good ship FOB shipping point from a vendor to Bryant was lost in transit. The invoice cost was 80000 was not yet recorded. Once again, since this is FOB shipping point, even if it was lost, walang naka-record, not yet recorded, pero dahil na FOB shipping point, while it is in transit, the inventory was already owned by Bryant. So dapat may naka-record tayo, 80000 despite it being lost. In letter C, good ship FOB shipping point from a vendor to Brian on December 31, 2021, amounting to 30,000, was recorded and included in the year end physical count as goods in transit. Okay. So, naka-record itong 32,000 in transit papunta sa atin. Do we own these goods while it's in transit? Yes, because this is FOB shipping point. So, tama lang na may naka-record na 32. Kung yung naka-record at yung dapat ma-record ay tama, then there's no need for any correction. For letter D, goods in transit from a vendor to Brian on December 31, 2021 with an invoice cost of 40000 purchased FOB destination was not yet recorded. So not yet recorded, zero. So it's in transit at year end. Ang tanong, dapat ba meron tayong naka-record? So this is FOB destination which means while it is yet in transit, the ownership of the goods is still on the books of the seller. So, dapat wala tayong nakarecord. So, may walang nakarecord at dapat lang na walang nakarecord. So, there's no need for adjustment. And for letter E, goods with invoice cost of 60000 was recorded and included in the year and physical count as goods in transit. So, nakarecord siya. It was found out that the Goods were shipped from a vendor under FOB destination. So it's in transit, kaya yung ating ownership na kay seller pa lang kasi hindi pa naman dumarating. So dapat walang nakarecord, pero may nakarecord na 60. May nakarecord na 60, pero dapat walang nakarecord. So therefore, this is a deduction of 60,000. Therefore, what's the adjusted amount? That would be 4,220,000. For example, number 6. Meron tayong accounts payable na 2 million before possible adjustment. First one is checks drawn but not yet released. Since the checks were already drawn, naka-record na siya na nakabayad tayo ng 48 But in reality, hindi pa naman siya na-release. Kaya hindi pa na-receive ng ating supplier, so dapat hindi pa tayo nakabayad. So dapat walang nakarecord na bawas. So therefore, we add it back. We add back 48. Next, meron tayong post-dated checks drawn and released to payments. So again, na-draw yung check. So this was recorded as a deduction against payable. But in reality, post-dated siya. So the supplier was not able to deposit the check until the check already expired. Sobrang tagal na. No? Kaya dapat wala tayong deduction since hindi naman pala tayo nakabayad for both situations. So naka minus 20 pero dapat wala kaya we add back 20. For letter B, on December 28, 2021, a vendor authorized Michael to return for full credit 
good ship and build 100,000 on December 14, 2021. Okay. So, na-return yung goods ng December 31, 2021. Pero kailan tayo nag-record? Sabi dito, the credit memo was received and recorded only on January 3, 2020. So, nung 2022 pa tayo nag-record. No? Ibig sabihin, on 2021, wala tayong nakarecord. But in reality, since this was already returned before the year end, dapat may bawas na tayong 100,000. So, walang na-record na bawas kasi next year pa daw na-record. But in reality, dapat meron na. So, this would be a deduction for 100,000. For letter C, FOB shipping point, freight prepaid from a vendor on December 28, 2021, was recorded at invoice cost at shipment date. The invoice cost is 56,000, while freight cost is 12,000. Okay. So, ang tanong, na-record ba? Yes. Naka-record na 56,000. Naka-record at invoice. But in reality, magkano dapat yung ma-record? Dapat ang naka-record dahil FOB shipping point, hindi lang dapat 56. Pero dapat pati yung ating 12,000 naka-record. Since FOB shipping point, she buyer yung dapat mag. Ayan. So naka plus 56, but in reality, it should be plus 68. So we need to adjust and recognize 12,000. For letter D, Good ship FOB destination freight collect were received on December 29, 2020. The invoice cost was 160,000, credited to accounts payable on the date of receipt, and the related freight of 20,000 was debited to an expense. Okay. So FOB destination. Naka record na 160,000. Okay. In reality, since FOB destination ito, with regards to the inventory itself, dapat walang naka-record. Okay. Next, let's talk about the free. Let's add one row to this. Ano. So regarding the free, anong ginawa? Naka-debit to 20,000. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, nakadagdag sa accounts payable. But in reality, ganito yon. Yung freight natin is dapat ang magbayad si seller. Nasa table to sa ating discussion and out. Pag FOB destination freight collect, ang dapat magbayad si seller, pero ang nagbayad si buyer. Dahil doon, yung ating freight na binayaran ni buyer, pero dapat ang nagbayad si seller, it would be a deduction against the buyer's account speed. So dapat negative 20. Therefore, wala dapat nakarecord na 160. Pero, dapat yung freight natin, it would be not a plus 20, but it should be a negative 20. So this would be a negative 40. From positive 20, naging negative 40,000. So our adjusted accounts payable would be 1,980,000. Okay. So we will have the next video regarding computations of bonus payable. If you like this video so far, feel free to like and subscribe. See you in our next video.